Never before in the history of anything have we been so deluged, deluged, deluded with an avalanche of dreams deferred, derailed, disregarded while longing for an intermission, an intercession, an interception in the constantly churning, changing channels, never stopping at substance. Never before in the history of anywhere has where we stand been so questionable, constrained, conditional, on a deconstructing social compact, an insubstantial architecture of abnormal social norms. We need to ride that, that infrastructure, ride that to the end of artifice, where we can stand on solid grounds and watch face a sunrise. Consider this. What were we talking about echoes across countless conversations while millions around the world are starving. Try this one on for size, chirps and mannequin, stopping a shopper's momentum while flames engulf a low rent high rise. Never before in the history of histories have polarities been so predominant. Curtain call or wake up call for humankind. Lurching in striving force for dominance. Or players in the game of existence opting for a new game plan. Fuse the polarities. Go beyond your deepest challenge. Plunge through the apparition of authority. Forget the schedule. Immediacy is the only option. Open yourself for arrival. Accept the obvious as it evaporates everything that you know. I call the music, I call this the music Heavy Light. Hope you enjoyed it. May there be a shift of heart in all people who seek revenge. And may those who have the power to destroy the world suddenly feel a transformational change to save the world. May all people understand one another and if we can't understand one another, may we at least, at the very least, respect each other's differences. May each, pe may each person in our world be allowed to celebrate the precious life that they have been given by knowing tolerance, knowing love, and living peace. And may there be a shift of heart in all humanity for all humanity. Lo is a goy el goy gerev, lo yimadu od mil chama. Let everyone neat their vine and fig tree, live in peace and unafraid. So come, dear people, listen, listen. And you'll hear why there must be no guns or fighting, and love replaces fear. Every person can make a difference, you see, helping our planet choose a world that's free. Share your ideas, reach out, cause peace is the way. That's what our world can be about. So gather some people together. Give each 
each other a chance no matter what their color or religion or anything that is different from you and me start a peaceful warrior dance because we're all one people peace is the gift we can give each other said Elie Wiesel we're all one global nation an eye for an eye only makes the whole world blind said Gandhi we're all one planet be the changes you want in the world, said Martin Luther King Jr. Together we can live, even forgive your enemies, said Mother Teresa. We're all one people, all one nation, all one planet. Together we can live, we're all the colors of one rainbow, and we're all the feelings of one heart and we're all the music of one voice let's reach for a brand new start by singing we're all one people nation all one nation all one planet together together we can live all one people all one nation all one planet together we can live lots of struggles are the same for all of us each other's hearts we really do know we're all connected with each other so remember that and don't feel low because we're all one people all one nation all one planet together we can live love all one people all one nation all one planet together we can live lo yisa goi el goi lo yuma du od milchama let everyone eat their vine and fig tree live in peace and unafraid that is our dream thank you hibernation time of year for me only i can't because I am a human being person. I te texted my sister the other day, better to light a candle than curse the darkness. So I did, I am, actually, literally, lit, lighting a candle, on the desk, up against a window, looking over the front yard to Depot Street, and across the street. Writing by daylight and candlelight, how old-fashioned. Perhaps part of a process long ago writers might still recognize. Thank you. A bloke on a bar stool makes a clairvoyant toast, which puzzles you all the way home, then dawns on you three days later. An unflagging dilemma Varying risky options lead you down an alley you mostly avoid where common sense jumps out and mugs you. You rise from your bed with a gem from a dream where a priggish mob was chanting blasphemy as you were burning at the stake in a clown suit. Riffling yard sale collection of vintage photographs. One of an old sailor hoisting his duffel bag sings out, life's necessities are portable. When the elusive last line to a verse on eternity thump thumps as you're tooling down the highway, you find yourself in the breakdown lane, scribbling. Enlightenment may well be the reward of the dead. While the deserving living 
are enriched with epiphanies. <laughs> Thank you. Peace, pilgrim. Shh, no more talk for or against. Listen open-hearted, hear like a conductor. Feel connections, amass compassion, clean out the crevices, eliminate verbal bullets, bombshell thoughts, search for higher self, deep in silence, deeper in silence, into the depths. Keeping peace requires eagle's vigilance, total presence, so there you can smell possibility, ever ready to choose love. Come to know war, inside and out. Embrace its conflicts. Invite enemies to dine. Try not to want. Travel vast spaces knowing nothing, asking nothing, to witness light slivers illuminate footpaths to love. These feet on the road Labored breathing underneath a heavy load I stop and rest beside a field just mowed Waiting for a summer rain Quench this fire burning in my brain I was so sure but so mistaken I lost the way to the way not taken Thinking back, I hear the voice of someone Words from a father to a son And they are all in me now I can hear the whispered song Surely like these footsteps on the ground Wandered by a thousand streams Wooded paths, forgotten dreams It may just be I'm deaf and blind Or oh, this journey is what I'm here to find I walk On this path I walk beside a sheltered stream I'm merely living a half-lived dream Where all my days are safe and clean I'm looking for a revelation I'm Letting go of preservation Longing for the way not taken I'm stumbling on I'm on this road I've taken I'm bound for lost on this forgotten road Water broods where the river once flowed But hope is mirrored, wisdom's bestowed I see that it might be something more Looking up, I begin to soar Leaving the ground and my grip shaking I can see the way to the way not taken Looking back, I've spent years on the river Lost thoughts washed clean in the water Hidden patterns, I see them now Given to the mystery 
I am blessed My heart is pounding in my chest I've wandered by a thousand streams Wooded paths, forgotten dreams It might just be I'm deaf and blind Or this journey's what I'm here to find When the clock said nearly four, upon a night so dark and deep, there came knocking at my door that stirred me from untroubled sleep. At first I thought it just a dream. I yawned, rubbed my closed eyes, and then, in sudden panic, thought to scream when I heard the knock again. Who is there? I feebly cried and pulled the blanket to my chin. The door unlatched and opened wide. An old, thin black man sauntered in. Well, that door was locked, I thought. Oh, dear. When at once, to my surprise, with vigor that belied his years dancing behind sparkling eyes, he said, Don't you know who I am? Nights when I see your shade drawn and you are sitting pen in hand, I'm the cat you call upon. The muse, I said, <laughs> my muse, said he, who'd you expect, the Pope? <laughs> well, no, I said, because I'm a Jew. Is this some joke? He told me, nope. Well, I said, I thought you would be, well, feminine, beguiling. People always say that to me, he lamented, smiling. He threw back his head and laughed, and then he started up a beat. On both hands, his fingers snapped. He hummed and gasped and stamped his feet, and then he started spouting tales. Heartfelt sagas of his kin, wondrous yarns of ancient days and far-off lands once known to him. His tales felt sacred, one called Ruth. Rhyming, jiving, funny, wild. One moment he shouted, truth! The next, Babazee Beep was playful as a child. I lay in my bed, mesmerized, stories filling up my head, when all at once he stopped and sighed, now, go tell your own, he said. Then the old man spoke no more, but stooped, and as I watched, he sank lower, smaller toward the floor, and past my mattress finally shrank. I peered down, he was no more, not a trace, not even clothes. And in his place upon my floor lay a single withered rose. Since then, I've not seen the muse or heard his waking late night rants. I long to see him shaking loose his stomping finger popping dance. But I still have that withered rose near my writing pad it stands in a spot where no one goes. I take it sometimes in my hands, and sometimes, when I'm all alone, I water that dried flower, and when its petals spring to life, I know my muse is with me once again. Thank you. The Michelangelo room could be Bosnia or Beirut. Its walls cracked bare. Sunlight filters through a broken roof, frames where windows used to be. Guards tried to, try to lift a painting large enough to carry three corpses, ragged, gasping holes. The custodian head lowered stares at the death of Ado Adonis. Who would know? 
two hundred pounds of underworld packed in a small stolen car would funnel through the street, explode. The Uffizi palace bludgeoned like taboo. Five dead, a family of four, treasures from other countries, continents, generations, cut down like wheat and grain. We fly, windows shuttered, designer stores, pavement cafes closed. We fly with crowds. The black scroll on their placard sweeps us along. What next? Juliet's house via Capella 23, the 800-year-old leaning tower, San Marco, the Vatican, the station. Down, down the stairs we go, low ceilings, corridors in half light, railroad babble, upset schedules, dazed souls, tick-tock by us. Aphrodite can't be found. All the trains are cancelled. It's off season. The name of the author is the first to go, followed obediently by the title, the plot, the heartbreaking conclusion, the entire novel, which suddenly becomes one you have never read, never even heard of. As if, one by one, the memories you used to harbor decided to retire to a southern hemisphere of the brain, to a little fishing village where there are no phones. <laughs> Long ago, you kissed the names of the nine muses goodbye and watched the quadratic equation pack its bag and even now, as you memorize the order of the planets, something else is slipping away. A state flower, perhaps. The address of an uncle, or the capital of Paraguay. Whatever it is you are struggling to remember, it is not poised on the tip of your tongue, not even lurking in some obscure corner of your spleen. It has floated away down a dark mythological river, whose name begins with an L, as far as you can recall, <laughs> well on your way to oblivion, where you will join those who have, who have even forgotten how to swim or how to ride a bicycle. No wonder you rise in the middle of the night to look up the date of a famous battle in a book on war. No wonder the moon in the window seems to have drifted out of a love poem that you used to know by heart. Thank you. Today I met a boy named Freedom Freedom He stood up tall and he looked me in the eye Down in the Albany, Georgia jailhouse He said I'm nine years old and I'm ready to die What are you ready to die for freedom? Why did they arrest you and bring you to the jail? calling and singing my name Don't shy away from freedom calling Stand up for love when the world is falling When the world is falling Today I met a beautiful my name Rosa She stood 
stood up tall and she touched the sky Down in Montgomery, Alabama She kept her ground so she could testify What are you keeping your seat for, Rosa? Why did you decide that today was your time? She said, I was tired of going in through the back door. And if they want to, they can go ahead and call it a crime. Jasmine, rosemary. 